You see, when you have gotten to a certain level of information and understanding of Nigerian businesses, you will stop to the vessel bus conductor. You will stop to the vessel some airlines. You will stop to the vessel some people because waiting make one person do something. It's because of another person where on that thing another person do we call drag on that but you see you'll stop to the verse for Nepal. You'll start to realize that everything boils down to government. Recently, one of my chairmen called somebody may call Cotty Grass for inside my good estate because they call, call Hepa and Garden the Garden. Now the guy bill on 70k. He vests for the guy. But by the time we analyze and finish, we find that say no that guy cause up. Now government. Everything is linked to the government. You don't know which top politician don't influence. Say they delay the flight when they go from Lagos to Enugu. And at that same flight supposed to move from Enugu to Abuja. And at that same flight supposed to move from Abuja to Lagos. But because one top government official now don't say delay that flight by two hours. Now the flight was supposed to move from Lagos to Enugu. Don't delay Enugu passengers. We're supposed to go Abuja. And by plus it has delayed Abuja passengers. You don't know the company that have refused or that have not done their job well when they don't fuel that plane quick. Because the plane could land now for Lagos. Believe it's okay, I will land by 12. I will don't fuel up by 1. Then I will load by 1. I will take off by 1.30. I will land in Nugu by 2.30. But you see that fuel company, instead of them to load the fuel, at the time they won't load them, they, are, they don't have fuel. And based on Nigerian government, they must wait. I was waiting to land in Lagos before I caused airpiece for this nine hour delay. But Peter B is on my flight. Let me respect our leader. And then Peter B responded, Thank you, my dear Ulu Aluninyo. Let me sincerely apologize on their behalf. These days, I have learned to avoid criticizing or getting easily annoyed with Nigerians and in particular Nigerian businesses. Given the harsh and difficult environment they have to navigate, the situation in our country demands that we always apply caution as we try to understand each other's circumstances and factor them into our judgment of them. This should act as a reminder that many are doing their best despite the challenging circumstances and that patience and understanding can go a long way. Peter Obi. Now, before I talk about Peter Obi, let me talk about what he was trying to explain here. You see, they have gotten to a certain level of information and understanding of Nigerian government, Nigerian businesses and Nigerians. You stop to the vessel bus conductor. You go stop to the vessel for Nepal. You might as well stop to the verse for these airlines. Because you will come to realize that everything is directly linked to government. You know, sometimes we we'll complain something, some people will say, now government calls this one, our government. You know, no. Let me give you a, a clear example. An airplane flight or a plane, for example, is supposed to take off from Lagos by 12. And land in Enugu by 1250. The airline not planned. So when they land by 1250, they will use 14 minutes to fuel the plane, which is 130. Then they will load for another 30 minutes, which is 2 o'clock. Then they will take off to Abuja. Go carry passenger for Abuja with the gold Lagos. But you see, by the time they landed by 1250 in Enugu, the company that is supposed to feel well, not get. And the reason why they don't get it is because they know nobody can take that contract from them. Now, one top government official give that to them. So they can misbehave. Now, this airline is stranded. He cannot fuel himself. He cannot provide fuel for himself because the government will not agree. He has to wait for that fuel company. Now, before they load that fuel in three hours, somebody will suppose leave by 1.30. Go we'll come finally leave by 4 o'clock. Now, he has delayed the passengers that are supposed to move. Because now they move from Minugu to Abuja. He has delayed the passengers that are supposed to move from Minugu to Abuja. And my proxy has delayed the ones that are supposed to move from Abuja to Lagos. But do you know who the passenger will swear for? The airline. We don't know what is happening back end. 
Nigeria is designed to frustrate Nigerians. We have lights in this country. Do you know we have more electricity than we can use? We are even giving neighboring nations. But when they say meats are everybody, the company that is supposed to supply the meter for everybody will tell you, say meter no day. Now, Nepa has no choice than to give people lights without meter. Some people no go pay, some go connect for wire. So now Nepa has to make their money because now they are like those people, so they'll factor those bills into the ones we get meter. They'll call it estimated bill. So when you just swear for Nepa, you're not noticing that one company is not going to bring people meter. And some people tap lights. Everything is just affecting everything. That is why Nigeria is like this. So these days, we're not going to know who to verse for. I would not to verse for again. As for pizza, will be. This is the man I voted. A man who will think before he takes action. I remember during the last election, some people say, we'll be the boy, he will learn. Those people who say, to be the boy, he will learn. So don't say they are motto. So they owe us rent. Some have switched to taking a go because they cannot buy medicine anymore. Medicine don't cost. Some have dropped some children from school so that some others can go to school. Some have sick parents they can't take care of. The question is who is a boy now and who is learning now? Because Obi is still a big boy. <laughs> he does not used to fly first class before. Now the economy they fly and I see the flight now. So who is learning the hard way and who is a boy? Next election is coming, guys. Vote with tribalism again. We day and we they wash you. If not be want I go say make I join on and support this Tinubu government so that everybody will connect. If not be smart, I will say the next election will vote in the way again. So that everybody I go clear. But as well, the next election I will vote with our way again. If you want to steal my vote, let them steal it. But I'm go it's gonna be on record that I stood for what I believe is right.